Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 23rd, 2020. Well, yesterday we had kind of a choppy uh, day, but constant and consistent pressure by the bulls to rally. So what is that? mean for today we have more pressure in the market this morning and we had kind of a wild session overnight so how about we go ahead and settle into our chair let's get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning guys let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and where we what we've got going on here we still have a market showing us upside trend on this longer term we did break this shorter term trend and we struggled with some resistance up here in the chart that island reversal here on the diamonds but this morning we're showing bullishness all bullishness all the time as we continue to push out i gotta be honest guys i i find it truly remarkable the tenacity of these bulls willingness the willingness to buy even though uh, i guess economic numbers and um, COVID numbers no longer matter. I, I, I can't quite get my head around that, but it doesn't really matter whether I understand it or not. What matters is whether or not we are following the price action of the chart. And you can see in the price action of the chart, we are still trying to trend higher and the bulls are still in control. And there just seems to be a ravenous appetite to buy stock um, at the moment. So we do have this pullback to support and we're seeing those bulls come in. So that is a bullish sign. And you can see this morning we're looking at a gap up open. Now that gap up open will not take out that Friday sell off. So one thing we want to be um, watchful of is the possibility that we could gap up and, and then pull back. So watch for that possibility of a pop and drop because if we are honest with ourselves, we also have a downtrend in play here in the chart and we are underneath that island reversal here on the diamond. So kind of keep that in mind as we continue to push um, and rush to the upside here in the market. Now, the majority of this market was led up by just two companies, um, Microsoft and Apple, reaching out to new highs. That lifted the Dow anyway. Those two companies are included in the Dow. The majority of the Dow did not move up yesterday. As a matter of fact, the absolute breadth indicator, and we'll look at that in just a minute, was um, pretty sharply lower yesterday. There just wasn't a lot moving except those big tech giants. That being said, though, we continue to move higher. Now, this morning we have... Um, uh, the di diamonds gapping up to test that 200 day moving average. So we're going to test that 200 day moving average once again as resistance. We'll see if we can push through this time or if once again, those bears fight back to hold that level as resistance. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also in rally mode. If we take a look here, I'm just going to remove all those uh, lines and see that we have moved up we're holding into this price support of the trend buyers are stepping up in here and we're looking at a gap up open now once again that is not going to uh completely en encompass that candle on that selling candle on friday so we'll want to be aware of that we also want to keep in mind that we actually still have a downtrend in play and there's that island reversal resistance here that we still have to deal with in the chart so let's keep an eye on that as we continue to push higher now here in the nasdaq we're holding well above our 200 day moving average and notice our 34 ema has even crossed up through that 200 days so we do have a bullish scenario here in the chart as those bulls just keep on driving forward Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ um, closed at a new all-time record high. Um, we, we have been up here before. We've printed this high before, but we haven't closed up here. And now we've closed at that new record high. And this morning, we're gapping to yet another record high. There seems to be, um, well, 
When it comes to the big tech giants, it seems to be there's no price too high right now. Um, the bulls have this ravenous desire to buy. So as we continue to push on up, we are breaking through um, these all-time highs and continuing to, to move sharply higher in this market. We are maintaining trend. So everything here is bullish. One thing I would say is to be a little bit careful chasing that gap up high. We're quite a ways away from a stop loss in that move. So kind of keep that in mind if you're rushing into that trade. Um, anytime profits takers come in. As a matter of fact, I will say that if we get some profit taking or selling coming in to the tech sector, we should hang on because that's really all that's holding this market up at the moment. Um, we're continuing to see things like um, finance, um, XLF, not doing very well. Financials are not doing well. We're seeing oil um, kind of struggling here. We did get a little bit of a rally yesterday. Kind of seeing that struggle in here just a little bit so we'll want to keep an eye on this because it's really the tech sector sector lifting the market overall and then iwm let's take a look at iwm iwm is also rallying this morning it actually had a pretty decent day yesterday rallying up holding on to trend as you can see here holding on to trend and pushing up higher this morning it looks like we will once again try to um whip whip that Friday sell-off day um, with a bullish move and we're still under that 200 day moving average here in um, the IWM so we've got some resistance to deal with overall in the chart keep in mind we still have that downtrend also in play here um, as we kind of struggle around these resistance levels in the chart let's take a look at the VIX Interestingly enough, the VIX pulled back pretty substantially yesterday, kind of wiping out that move on Friday. We've got kind of opposing candles here, bearish engulfing candle on the day, and we will pull back even further today. But one thing I want to point out is we're still quite elevated in the VIX. So even though the bulls continue to push and push and push and push and push, there seems to be a lingering fear out there, a lingering concern. So we'll want to watch that closely. Not so much that, um, you know, you want to panic about it, but if we start seeing some profit taking coming in, we could see that fear or a news event. Um, we could see that spike up pretty dramatically. And what I mean by news event, we overnight we heard from the World Health Organization that we hit a new record high of infections yesterday on COVID. And here in the United States, over 31,000 new infections reported yesterday. So that's three days in a row with more than 30,000 infections. So we are spiking up here. If we, if we start catching some bad headlines here and the worry starts coming up about COVID, we could really see those profit takers come in. So watch that closely. We're going to have to stay on our toes. Don't be blinded by this bullishness thinking there's no way we can sell off again because I don't see suspect that is true. Watch that closely. And then let's take a look at a T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see at the end of the day, we ended up turning higher here in T2122. And I suspect we're going to be gapping up and getting very, very close to this bearish reversal zone this morning on this gap up. So we're going to push right back up into um, this upper region. So watch that closely as we push uh, higher and really stretch these limits out in the market. Um, if we take a look at T2101, which is the absolute breadth index. This is what I referred to earlier, showing that the majority of stocks, even though we set new record highs in the market, the majority of the stocks were selling off yesterday. So we didn't have a broad base move. It was really pushed into that big tech giant um, sector, and that's what lifted the market overall. So keep an eye on that. If that breath con continues to fall and we just continue to force more and more or pound more and more money into those big tech giants, they can continue to lift the market. But how long can they do that if um, other 
stocks are not moving along with that um, rally. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, not that it matters, but our economic pattern does have a couple of big reports on it this morning. Um, the reason I said that is we had existing home sales yesterday that fell pretty sharply no one cared the market rallied. Um, today we have PMI, we're gonna have PMI here at 945 and new home sales at 10 a.m. Right now it just seems like any bad news is a reason to buy. So maybe these won't be important at all. They do have that potential for moving the market around. So we'll wanna watch that closely as they come into play. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We have a really light day on the earnings calendar with only six companies reporting and I really whoops and I really am not seeing um, much out there for um, notable reports um, I would point out um, LZB as probably the only one that would have any kind of particular note in the market today so watch lazy boy as it reports this morning right now it looks like it's indicating uh, to open about where it closed, we'll have to wait for that report. One thing I would say is Lazy Boy continues in this downtrend here, and we have our uptrend here. So we're challenging this wedge pattern, trying to push back up. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. However, before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I want to say thank you so much. We we went over 13,000 subscribers and you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Um, um, it humbles me every day to see more and more people coming in and the, the wonderful comments and I, I also want to make an apology I have been dealing with a little bit of a health issue nothing major but a little bit of a health issue so I've been running back and forth to uh, doctor appointments I haven't been able to um, answer a lot of the comments here lately but I will be on that today and I just want to say thank you everyone uh, very much for leaving those comments helping the channel continue to grow um, we can't grow without you obviously I do my very best to put out good quality content with Without hype without prediction and um, it really it really comes down to you and, and those subscribers whether or not we continue to grow so thank you guys you you are truly awesome so with that how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and some things that we uh, might want to be watching and I want to make sure and remind everyone that every stock I show in here is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security just something uh, that you might want to put on your watch list do an evaluation and decide how you um, if how or if if that stock even fits you as a possible trade. One thing I want to point out, and you guys know that I have been a holder of gold, got a really nice move yesterday on gold. Gold popped up sharply. Um, this is that little bit of an indication of a safety play as COVID continues to uh, rise in the market. And you can see we have a nice little rally going on here and we've broken through this resistance. Now, I wouldn't want to suggest that this is a buy here. Um, as a matter of fact, we could see a pullback or a rest over here to, to trend before that occurs. Just something to keep an eye on, gold trying to perk back up even as uh, the market reaches out for new record highs. And silver, silver is another that popped up yesterday, but it saw some selling. I also hold this, just uh, for full disclosure, also hold this, and we've got that little rally going on, but we also have this little problem right here in the chart. So we're in this little wedge. Whether or not we can pop out of that, I don't know, but I, I am continuing to hold that trade, so keep an eye on that. Um, we, um, I set a few new alerts yesterday, one being here on Fastenal. Fastenal, um, really nice little consolidating move here. As you can see, we've placed this nice little box right around this area. There's no buyers above this area. There's no sellers below. But we had a nice little push yesterday in that stock. This morning, it looks like we could gap up right in here to my alert, that pink line. 
So let's keep an eye on that. There may be that opportunity that Fastenal pops out in housing numbers, maybe just the thing to help it move if we get a good um, new home sales number, maybe just the thing to help it move as Fastenal is a major supplier to builders. So keep an eye on that. Also take a look at, if you're um, into tech ETFs, take a look at XLK. XLK, I placed an alert on this and we ended up crossing through that alert yesterday. Didn't quite make a full on bullish engulfing candle here yesterday, trying to recover Friday selling. But as you can see, it is gapping higher this morning to an all time new high. XLK looking strong might be something to pay attention to. A stock that I just, this thing has just been a remarkable runner. I robot, um, really, really strong. Oh, once again, it is setting up here in that nice tight consolidating box. A little bit of bullishness coming in here. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. The possibility that this could resume its uptrend here uh, very, very soon. So keep an eye on iRobot. It's looking pretty darn good overall, like that chart. BBY, Best Buy had a really good day yesterday. Big old bear, bullish engulfing candle popping up, triggered my alert here by the close yesterday. And you can see trying to resume this upside trend. So keep an eye on Best Buy. Looks like it's gapping a little bit higher this morning. So keep an eye on that. It may be trying to push on through. Now we will want to make sure sure and pay attention to resistance levels here in this chart over in here um, that we may come up here and, and challenge those but just keep in mind that that's where sellers can uh, those bears can have um, um, their way with the market as we hit those resistance so watch those levels up here in Best Buy as we continue to push up in through these resistance levels on that chart but looking pretty good overall eBay had a good day yesterday as well pushing up and there's that little trading box again that nice little tight area nice bullish engulfing candle yesterday eBay wanting to move on higher this is one of those uh, stocks that move well during COVID uh, or moved well during COVID and with that uh, spiking back up this may be one of those stocks uh, getting ready to move now we still have this downtrend and we're challenging that downtrend can we push through can't tell you that for sure but it is one to keep an eye on one to maybe watch um, Kraft Heinz interesting chart here on Kraft Heinz. Now this is a defensive sector stock, um, but as you can see, we're pushing all time high resistance levels. Kraft Heinz did really, really well during the COVID situation because everyone was out buying mac and cheese and stuff to feed the kids while they were home. And as you can see, pushing into that resistance level. So watch this right here, see if that can push on through, pop on out of there and show some strength. Um, there is that possibility that we can move right on through that level. So keep a close eye on that. Um, KHC might be one to pay attention to. You could also take a look at some of the other defensive stocks. They haven't done as well, um, like MDLZ, little pullback yesterday, but still holding in there. And I mentioned this one yesterday. Um, um, we have Hershey trying to pick up here just a little bit, still in an overall downtrend though. So right now, not ready for prime time in this move. I really need to see that pop through and hold before that can move higher. On the tech side of things, take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA had a great day yesterday, continuing to move on higher, stretching on up. So those tech sector stocks moving on up, you'll wanna keep an eye on that. Um, tractor supply. Tractor supply yesterday popping out to new all time highs in the chart. I wouldn't want to chase this move up. What I would want to do is I would want to wait and see if we can get a rest, a consolidation, a pullback of some kind that would hold above this level of support in here. So any rest in here sets up that opportunity uh, for that new move higher. So tractor supply perking up here, looking pretty good. Something you want to keep an eye on um, overall. And I've been keeping an eye on OKTA. Now OKTA, kind of disappointed in the fact that it failed the trend and we consolidated this price support and now we've rallied right back up here into resistance levels on the chart. I want to keep an eye on this. This could set up as a double top failure 
but it could also set up as that breakout where we uh, resume the uptrend here in the chart. So keep an eye on OKTA, might be worth putting on your watch list for the trade. You could also look in those big techs at Facebook. Facebook trying to push out to all time new highs. Um, nice little consolidating move here. There's that little box again as we consolidated in this tight range, looking for those bullish moves to push us on up. And Netflix. Netflix is one that broke through yesterday, really pushing up higher, as you can see, looking strong here yesterday as those COVID numbers spike. People looking at some of those places, things that they can do if they have to start staying home. So COVID, um, um, and Netflix looking good and we're breaking out to all time highs here on Netflix. So remarkable moves in this market as those tech giants continue to lead us higher. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you the very best in the market. And please do me a favor, be safe um, with all of the craziness going around in the country, these COVID numbers spiking, particularly in the South. Keep yourself safe. Be, be wise about this. Stay home when you can um, and not expose yourself to this craziness that's going on around the country. Everyone take care. I want to wish you all all the very, very best, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.